bun obliterates the competition in speed for almost every benchmark, especially when it comes to package installs, where it's seven times faster than NPM. And for the longest time, if you wanted to know their secret, you'd have to run their source code through an LLM or go through every single one of Jared's tweets. But they've recently released a blog post that explains everything in detail. So let's go through the key three things Bun does differently to achieve super fast package installs. And before we get into it, don't forget to hit subscribe. Typically, when you install a package, a lot of things take place under the hood, like reading manifest and lock files to figure out the exact version of that package to install, downloading and extracting the compressed tarball from the package registry, writing these files to the system, and a few other steps that aren't shown in this diagram. Bun improves on all of these processes compared to other package managers using some clever techniques, and we'll go through each step in detail, starting with writing files to the system, which involves a lot of system calls, meaning the CPU needs to to switch between user and kernel mode, which can temporarily stop programs from running. A typical switch can take a fraction of a millisecond, depending on the CPU, which doesn't seem like a lot. But considering installing packages can use hundreds of thousands of system calls, that's a lot of CPU cycles lost to just switching modes. And packages like NPM, PNPM, and YARN make this process a lot worse since they're written in Node.js, which uses a library called libuv for asynchronous operations, which adds extra overhead like string conversion and using the JavaScript event loop just to read a file. But because Bun is written in Zig, which compiles to native code with direct system call access, it can read more files per second than Node and uses much less system calls to install a package. This also means that Bun is able to read the local manifest and lock files a lot faster. But there are other optimizations it makes to further speed up this process. Since other package managers store lock files in JSON or YAML, and JSON parsers allocate memory for every object, which isn't very efficient for modern CPUs because the memory addresses used here are basically random, which means objects that are related to each other could be scattered across RAM. And when you access memory, the CPU loads the whole 64 byte chunk into cache, even if you only need eight bytes, which is great for data stored sequentially, not scattered across RAM. And considering the CPU has different cache levels, if a lot of data is loaded into a level and it fills up, new data will push old data out of that layer into the next slower layer, which slows down the entire parsing process. But Bun does things differently. Instead of using JSON, it uses a structure of arrays for its lock file, which is one big array that is cache friendly and is in a machine readable format for manifest files from package registries. So the CPU can load all the data in a single memory fetch, which explains this process. Let's move on to tarball extraction because that's the next step after fetching the manifest. Typically, the tarball is decompressed as it streams in, which sounds great in theory, but it has some problems. Since the size is unknown, it starts off with a small pre-allocated region of memory called a buffer. Then, if more memory is needed, the already extracted data is moved to a new, bigger buffer, and extraction continues. This repeats until the whole file is extracted. So for a one megabyte package, 960 kilobytes of data is copied unnecessarily, which repeats memory allocation, adds extra system calls, basically all the inefficiencies that were mentioned earlier. But Bun avoids that in a pretty weird way by downloading the compressed tarball into memory before decompressing, which isn't great for large packages like TypeScript, but for most packages under one megabyte, this eliminates a lot of copying. Once Bun has downloaded the tarball, it reads the last four bytes, which contain the uncompressed file size. Then it can pre-allocate memory to eliminate resizing. Bun also uses a much faster library for decompression than the standard library used by most package managers. Anyway, that is a very quick overview on why installing packages with Bun is so fast. And I didn't even go through async DNS resolution or multi-core parallelism that fully utilizes every CPU core to maximize parallelism for heavy parts of the installation process instead of using a single core. I highly recommend checking out the full blog post for more details. But what do you think? Have you noticed Bun being faster for package installs than other package managers? Do you think all these optimizations have been worth it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy coding.